Okay, so the probability that Alex studies on Monday night is 0.5. Now this is starting to feel like a Venn diagram problem already. The problem that he'll play soccer is 0.4. Yep. Okay, here we go. So let's draw a Venn diagram for this. Even before I get to whatever's remaining here. So we've got uh, studying here. It looks like we got soccer here. So probably that he studies on Monday night is going to be 0.5. The probability that he plays soccer is going to be 0.4. The probability that he will do at least one of these activities is 0.7. Okay, so the probability of, doing, of studying or soccer is 0 0.7. Now that is the union of those two sets there. Uh, we want to know the probability that he will do both of these activities. Okay. Well, let's take a quick look here. Uh, it should be clear that these are not going to be mutually exclusive events, that there should be some overlap between the two of them here. So what we can do here actually is, is use this right here. We know they're not mutually exclusive, okay, because it is possible that he plays soccer and studies, right? So play soccer, sorry, studies or play soccer. The probability will be that, uh, the probability that he studies plus the probability that he plays soccer minus the probability that he plays, that he, sorry, that he studies and plays soccer. Now that's the piece that we're looking for right there. So we're going to bring that to the other side of this equation, studies and plays soccer. That is going to be the probability of studying plus the probability of playing soccer minus the probability of doing studying or soccer. Now that's going to be 0.5 plus 0.4 by the way, it's good to see that he's, he's more inclined to study than he is to play soccer. Just saying. As a math teacher, that's, a, that's kind of an encouraging thing. Minus 0.7. Okay, so 0.5 plus 0.4 is going to be 0.9. Minus 0.7 is 0.2. So the probability that he will do both of those activities is that 0.2.